Good Saturday morning, everybody. Art Andrews here, and welcome to the Corner Table. And for the past 25 years, my guest, Diane Keller's art, has evolved from studio portraits, still life, and garden paintings, to large-scale public murals, and to recent paintings inspired by the miniature portrait. Accustomed to experimenting with a wide range of materials, she continues to find new forms that resonate with her experience and insight. A respected educator, Ms. Keller has taught at the University of Pennsylvania, the Moore College of Art and Design, and the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, and we will talk with Diane Keller right after this. Diane Keller is in many corporate and private collections nationally, and her numerous public murals in Philadelphia are highly acclaimed. Recent clients include the Byer School Foundation and Technotrol Incorporated. Diane works, her work I should say, is a process of ever-growing layers of ideas, memories, and textures. Her versatility allows her to explore new directions and create work that is both uniquely personal and universal. Diane, welcome. And what I've been reading from is something that you can anybody can find on your website. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Art. The most popular mural, or I guess maybe not the most popular because you've done so many great murals, but perhaps the one that everybody would recognize is the one of former Mayor Frank Rizzo uh, at 9th and Montrose Streets in Philadelphia. And I've passed it many times, and I'm sure our listeners have done so as well. And uh, I'm holding a picture of it here. The listeners can't see it, obviously, but, you know, it's just an amazing mural. And, it, I mean, Rizzo was bigger than life anyway. Right, right. And uh, when you go by and you just, and he's looking directly at you, that is the most telling thing about that mural. He is just looking directly at you. It's uh, it's amazing. Well, How did that come about? Uh, well, that was my first mural project uh, really? with the then Anti Graffiti Network. And I have uh, been a portrait painter for most of my life. And mm -hmm. at the time, I was teaching at uh, Penn. And um, I was doing some portrait work with Karen Spiro, who was my rep for portraiture at the time, and she hooked up with Jane Golden, who was looking for a portrait painter to do this mural. So um, we met, and we got along great, and that was my first project. And uh, it, was, uh, it was quite an experience. My first time climbing scaffold was uh, pretty scary, but I had a great assistant. No, I love to oh, write, you know? <laughs> and I'm a writer. Yeah. And, you know... I put pen to paper, or sit at a word processor, or you remember the old typewriters. Yes. <laughs> so that's not so difficult. But how do you go about, and I, I, every time I'm looking at this constantly while we're doing the show, and it's just beautiful. He's, it looks like he's, he's in front of a, one of the stands at the Italian market. Right. And it's just, it's so perfect in every way, and you're working on a wall. I right. mean, it's brick. How do you... How do you transform a brick wall, imperfect as it is, into something that's such a beautiful work of art? I mean, it's just incredible. Okay, well, first of all, it's stucco. It wasn't brick. Okay. Brick's a little more difficult because you right. have all those joints. But uh, even stucco. Joints. But uh, here's the process. You uh, work it up on a small scale. Okay. And um, we use uh, a grid method uh, where you uh, would grid out a the small drawing, maybe one inch, and then maybe you would make it one inch to the foot on the wall wow. and you take chalk line and snap a grid onto the wall and number all of the um, blocks and then you transfer the drawing just by going from the one small square to the you know well, one inch square to a one foot square um, then you, once you get the drawing on there then it's um, you know then it's just painting it in uh, but it is difficult, and that was my first project, and we did use scaffolding. Um, so what I had to do is every time I would uh, need to check and see sure. what I was looking for, what it actually looked You'd like at a distance, up. I'd have to go down off the scaffolding and across the street and back up and oh. over and then make a little adjustment and then go back down. Now, these days, uh, recently, they've been putting me in a genie boom, which is much better because okay. I can just get up there. Push the little button and the, the lever button, and up, up and down back you go. And down and around, and so it's great. What do, you, what do you paint first? Do you paint... Uh, Mayor Rizzo first, or do you do you do the background first? Well, I think or a little bit of I, both. Uh, I think I did the background for. Actually, I work from top to bottom. Okay. okay. So uh, because you're working, you know, you can't if you you drip a lot of paint, uh, especially if the conditions are windy or anything like that. Depends on the weather, but um, you would drip the paint downwards, obviously. So you work from the top 
right on down. And when you have a scaffolding, you work from the top level, and then you go down to the next level, and you do the whole thing across that uh, way. I mean, your expertise is just unbelievable. Well, I was really happy with that. Uh, oh, well, with well, my you first should project, be, yes. and my first mural, I and thought what, it was a great. <laughs> what's so striking? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where you start as far as striking is concerned, but mm -hmm. one of the things that's so very striking is that you, you nailed his resemblance right on. You got him. I was so happy and lucky to do that, yeah. Um, they you couldn't have been working me. by an 8x10 photo. You had yeah, something no, larger. No, 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 it was an 8x10 photo, sure. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was actually his official mayoral um, oh, portrait. Okay. okay. And I had my husband stand in the Italian market, and I took a photograph of him. Okay. And then I inserted uh, the mayor in there. So. You know, what's, what's really amazing about what you do this is a process painting that's as old as time itself. Right. And, you know, when you live in this digital, high-speed age, to come by and see somebody who's actually doing it, I'll call it the old-fashioned way, I know that's kind of a cliche, but, but, I mean, it's just, you can't top this. I mean, this is just fantastic. Well, well thank you. Uh, yeah, this, well, this was 1994 when I did that, yeah. and that was before I started working on the computer at yeah, all. I wasn't yeah, working on yeah, the computer yeah, at the yeah. time. So I did it really the old-fashioned way by cutting and pasting uh, the imagery and then doing a drawing. And my husband's an architect, so I used his blueprint machine, made a blueprint in the linear form so I could get the drawing up. And uh, and then after that, it's blocking in all the colors. And it, it must have taken you at least three or four days. Uh, at, ah. least, at least. <laughs> How long did it take? How long well, let's see. I, you know, really, crazy, crazily enough, I think we started in in the, the winter of mm -hmm. 2000, I mean, of um, 1994. And I ended up finishing in the spring of uh, 95. So there was some months i think that we took off but a, a few a couple of months it was that's all a couple of months yeah and in the winter time that's i mean it, i don't know it, why we started in the what winter is time. it like to paint in the winter time because Horrible. it i was going to say it, it i mean <laughs> you can't do exterior <laughs> at painting at home was, in the winter well, how do you, what kind of paint i was do you 14 use? years younger than i am now well, so i mean I and i was I know, uh, kind I know. of <laughs> enthused about starting this new aspect of my career oh i think that's and uh, so i went i went with it but most of the projects that i do now are in the spring or the fall or hopefully not the summer because the summer gets very hot so also. everybody should at least and many people have seen it numerous yeah. times. But if you haven't seen it, we're talking about the portrait on the stucco wall on a building at 9th and Montrose. And the artist is Diane Keller, and she is my guest this morning on the corner table.